am today going to transform myself into a full on glam avatar because we all know that Ramadan is going on and Eid is going to be appear super super soon so for my lovely beauties I just wanted to create something which is going to be appropriate and really nice to wear uh, during the evening of Eid celebration so I am just going to create that but in this video um, like I am going to create something really really trending 2019 is all about that glow and with that soapy brow like wispy brows and everything so I am just going to create that today we are going to transform ourselves into a really glowy dewy uh, kind of look with those full uh, wispy brows so I'm just going to uh, do that without further ado let's just jump right in so first we are going to start off by setting our brows and for that I am taking this glycerin soap this is actually from the brand pears and I'm just spraying a little bit water on that and then I'm just like um, brushing my brows upwards with help of a mascara wand which I have saved from empty mascara bottle by the way I have dipped my mascara wand into that soap and water concoction that is just going to hold our brows hair up on the plate so if you want a full on detailed soap brow technique tutorial then please mention in the comment box I would love to do that once our brows are drying we are moving on to our makeup and for that I am starting off by prepping my face and this one is the pack cosmetics uh, brand new launch this is their oil control primer next i am applying this uh, foundation from nika nika skin shield foundation mixing with wet and wild dewy lumina uh, base and with that i am going to mix max tropin cream as because we are uh, going for a really dewy and glowy base so i'm just going to blend it with my trusted white she beauty blender if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know how much love i have uh, for this product for my concealer i am going to reach out to my trusted maybelline fit me co concealer there is no uh, new or fancy thing you guys know that this concealer is a staple when it comes to my uh, makeup routine and I'm in the shade, I think, 20 sand. By the way, guys, all the uh, products I'm going to use in this video will be listed in my description box below as I always, always, always do. So you guys make sure that you don't miss that. Once I'm done blending my concealer, I need to set my face quickly. And for that, I am taking my next HD finishing powder and I am setting my face very, very lightly. I don't really want to take away all that shiny, glowy uh, kind of effect next I am just going to retouch my brows and for that I am not going to like draw my brows all over again I am just going to fill in like here and there wherever I feel that my brows need some kind of like consistency and filling because we have already brushed our uh, brow hairs upwards so I don't really want to take away all those hard work by lining them next I am going to set my brows again with uh, the next brow gel by the way this uh, brow pencil was from wet and wild and this brow gel is from the nyx hd brow gel i just love nyx's brow gels and i think i am in the shade called espresso uh, next for my eyes i am going to reach out to my trusted makeup revolution mint chocolate palette first i am going to dip into this color and just like placing it on the outer corner of my eye next i am going to switch into this uh, reddish brown kind of shade and i'm just placing it right beside that brown color by the way today i am going for a really really warm and uh, nice brown smoky eye kind of look not smoky eye you can call it a halo eye i'm just placing those color on the inner corner and on the outer corner of my eye once i'm done with that i'm going to reach out to my clean fluffy brush not really clean but what i mean is that this brush doesn't really uh, have any product so i am just blending uh, those shadows together again i am just blending it furthermore with a fluffy brush like blending is the key guys you know so just take your time and blend everything seamlessly i am doing the same thing for my lower lash and i'm just mixing those two colors and just smoking out my lower lash and you guys know how much i love to smoke out my lower lash line but if you're someone who don't really like that much heavy eyeshadow on your lower lash line you can go light handed but i just love it <laughs> now for my crease i am going to cut it uh, not like if um, we are not going to go for a full-on cut crease look but i just want to uh, like make 
the next color appear bit vivid and bright so that's why i'm just cutting my crease with a flat tip brush and some concealer so once i'm done with that i am just going to deepen out my crease with uh this color from that same makeup revolution palette and i am just applying it right above my crease so it creates a very deep and nice uh precise line i'm just blending the edges with those same colors again you guys know that i always do a lot of back and forth because guys like makeup is an art for me so when we are creating an art we have to go like back and forth we have to check what is working what is not now i'm taking this color and just applying it on the brow bone as my highlighter and just blending everything out then i'm taking uh, my nyx love you so mochi palette and i'm just dipping my fingers to this shade this is a very nice peachy corally color and just applying it on uh, the crease with my fingers because you guys always know i love to work with my fingers because fingers uh gives you like the maximum color payoff when it comes to shadows especially like metal like or wet shadows again i'm just blending the edges just to create a duochromatic effect i am reaching out for this color from that same i love you so mochi palette and just dabbing it on uh, my crease then just to add a little pop of color i am taking this purple shade right here from the nyx ultimate shadow palette now guys i just love this shadow palette only or only because of this purple color this purple is just such an amazing shade so i'm just placing that purple co uh, color only and only on the outer corner of my um, eyes then i'm just going to blend it with a fluffy brush for my lower lash line i am reaching out to this silver eye pencil and this is again from nyx Uh, I am not really sure about the exact shade and exact product name but for that you have to check my description box. So yeah. <laughs> but this has a beautiful metallic silver shade. This shade is really uncommon. To prep my lashes, I am going to curl them first and then just I'm going to coat them with mascara and for that I am using Wet n Wild Max Fanatic mascara. You guys know I just love this mascara. And for my lashes actually I am going to throw this uh, amazing false lashes that I recently purchased from Shein. For my inner corner highlight I am again reaching out to my uh, Love You So Mochi palette and taking this bright yellow uh, color and just applying it uh, in the inner corner of my eyes and with that we are pretty much done with our eyes. Now I need to move on and complete the rest of my face. So for that I am reaching out to the Sugar Contour Day Force palette and using this contour powder to contour my face. Then just to uh, make it like more chiseled, I am reaching out to this bronzer. This is actually NYC bronzer. I'm not really sure if you can get it in India, but if you can, just guys, please purchase it. It is an amazing bronzer. Now for my blush, I am reaching out to my NYX Blush Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette and mixing these two colors and just throwing it on my cheeks with a stippling brush. This is something I have started doing: applying blush and uh, highlighter with stippling brush. it just gives you a very nice effect it gives you a very natural kind of finish and for my highlighter i am taking my nyx highlighting palette and just uh using this color to highlight my cheekbones and the usual area of my face where i usually highlight now for my lips i am reaching out to this wet and wild uh, mega gloss and for the shade name again you guys have to check my description box First I am applying the gloss uh, it has a very nice pink shade obviously you can see that and just to uh, make it more glossy and kind of warm I am taking this Maybelline uh, Superstay matte ink in the shade called uh, Seeker now I know this is a matte shade but I'm just going to dab it with my fingers and blend it and just to seal everything off I am going to use this setting spray from Faces this is the faces ultimate pro setting spray and with that our look is complete i just love 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 the way it has turned out i hope you guys also have enjoyed it my lovely beauties eid mubarak in advance so you just create it show me some pictures and please leave a comment you guys know how much i love to read your comments so yeah if you like this video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel guys subscription is very very important i will see you in my next video take care bye